It's so dark. That's a little better. Oh. Hi. Ah. They have nothing to say. <laughs> I'm wearing Imogen today. A little too much cleavage, but there's nothing you can do about it when you got it, you know? There's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do about it. It's mine. There she is. Great. Now my armor is complete. Oh, these boots are pinchy. So we have her yellow. Amazing. Also, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Yeah. Last day of the convention. It is 10.50. Almost 11. I bought too much stuff at the vendor's room. My bag. Nice. I was going to be fancy and just wear my little pouch, and that's it. But I need my things. We got little guest bags, and I don't think I said anything about it. I'm not technically a guest, <laughs> I'm just a con goer. I don't have any of the fancy things, but because your group, Mystic Dream, had invited another group to go with them, the people at the convention gave them five bags, and suddenly there were not five people going, only three. So me and Anthony got bags. Yay! You deserve them! I have my first, us a lot. my first swag bag. <laughs> What's in here? Well, I already took some of it out. They, do you see they had one of the little boba mochi things? Yes, I ate it. I was, was like so excited. Yeah. Well, I have them at my house. <laughs> no. Yeah, I yeah, I tried good. them. A fruit snack pack and a fidget bracelet, one of the bubble pop ones. Yeah. A stress ball. Do you see my stress ball is purple? Yeah, mine is too. We match. Yeah, Anthony's is the world. And some Pocky and a Kit Kat, which as long as it's not stale, I will eat. And a Twix. And I got a peanut butter granola bar. Mine no, came with a Reese's Take Five, and it was yummy. Oh, I didn't have that. I had a payday. Oh, cool. I but I like paydays better, so. You didn't see my cute print because I didn't even notice it. When we went to the, the artist the first time, it's the Dragon Age artist that did, they did the Ruka and Kakashi. Yeah. Kakashi That's and Ruka. so cute. Okay, I have a new ship. They <laughs> blushed. They're just Naruto's dads. Wait, didn't Ruka like kick the bucket? No, but did he? But doesn't he get stabbed in like the first episode and die? No. Aruka! Who gets stabbed? No, he does episode. get stabbed in the first episode. It was just a flesh wound. I thought he kicked the bucket. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. No, because then he takes Naruto to get ramen later in that same episode. Then I don't remember anything. <laughs> I just remember me being traumatized that I saw some guy kneeling over Naruto with a huge throwing star in his back. Like, oh, I'm gonna die. But I think that they'd probably, like, Started as just like sort of friend dates talking about Naruto mm -hmm. and like how do you deal with him and stuff like that. And then they'd find out, oh man, this guy's actually fun to be around, let's hang out more. And then, mm -hmm. like, you know, one mm -hmm. thing lead to another, they'd get married in the fall, <laughs> as, you, as they always do. As they always do. <laughs> My arm hurts now, I don't want to do this no more. <laughs> Goodbye. You don't know what you're talking about. They're destroying my trees. They're doing good. <laughs> No, they're not. Come on, y'all. Back me up. <laughs> Stop the bats. Stop, Stop the bats. 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 Look at you, Applejack. You look ones. so radiant. With the 
What are these, strawberries? <laughs> of course they are. You you, you, you do uh, work on a farm. Yeah, an apple farm. And you're going to help me, whether you like it or not. Now I'm going to help you or what? Yeah. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Because if you have kind a of problem with that, well, this is a kid's show. You're right, it is a kid's show. Because <laughs> I'm strong. <laughs> I think I'm having another nightmare. We have pancakes now. Help! <laughs> we have strawberry. <laughs> we have... <laughs> oh, hi! Are you have you seen Rarity? Oh, I forgot that she wanted me to be a, a, a little model. I mean, you can just tell everybody, right? You don't need a poster. You don't need a tip. Myself. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Don't call me crazy. I didn't call you crazy. Okay. I think she's going crazy. <laughs> I kind of feel guilty, but I don't feel guilty. Because I was somebody else. That wasn't me. It was Jack. Look. What? <laughs> Who are you? My <laughs> name is Jack. We're doing it best again. <laughs> oh, dude. My name is Ian I'm here, Billy Pie, and I'd like to say I like guys without bits today. I'm from this farm that's way out of town, and I love to eat apples too. Okay, <laughs> Jack is my friend and cousin, which is kind of surprising. And kind of, why are you walking like that? <laughs> we walk normally. today and i haven't had any caffeine oh shit and no water do you need to go to the mm. starbucks bro 
You do need like emergency Starbucks? No, not emergency Starbucks. But you're scared of a dude outside, so we couldn't go to the Starbucks. Well, he left. He was creepy. A nice man spoke to us. Yeah. Maybe he was nice. I don't know. When Carla and I were taking pictures. Oh, yeah. He said, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> he said, do they have these in St. Louis? And I was like, yeah, they're all over the country. Yeah. And he said, where are you guys from? And we said, Kansas. Who's there? Someone's out the door. Okay, they brought our goods. We got towels and Kleenexes and conditioner. I don't think I showed my costume earlier. This is my costume. I'm Fluttershy. Fluttershy. There's Imogen. We took some really nice pictures of her. And Carlos Mabel. Mabel. Oh, you sitting in the dark. Okay, it adjusted. Okay. <laughs> Carla's cosplaying as Mabel in a dimly lit room. <laughs> so what did we do? We went to the My Little Pony panel. Yes. It was really funny. I feel like it was one of those panels where people act as the characters, um, which generally I don't go to or enjoy because no one ever actually embodies the character in the way you expect them to. And I just generally feel like disappointed when I go to them because they're never as funny as they look online. But this one was like actually really funny and everyone acted just like their characters. They had sing-alongs and an improv game that was super funny. I really liked the Applejack. I think she was like perfect Applejack. Very funny. Pinkie Pie was hilarious. The Flash I like stayed pretty well in character. Yeah, had really she had a great nice voice. voice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Super good. And honestly, I think they all did. Even the rarity, like yeah. she sounded so elegant. And I was like, this is great. Twilight Sparkle was really nice. I think it was her kid that was doing Rainbow, Rainbow Dash. Dash. Yeah, it was really sweet. Really cute. Yeah, it was super fun. I don't know who was like in charge of it, mm -hmm. but it was super cute. We walked around the vendor's room a bit more. What else did we do? Right after My Little Pony, we went down and saw the Harp Twins, and that was cool. They were like really talented, and the drummers were awesome as well. And then we waited for closing ceremonies, and then we watched closing ceremonies. Um, Mystics and all the other guests got to each go on stage and like speak to the audience again. We were like, thanks for coming. And while we were up there, Maid, or not Maid, <laughs> Butler Gomez from the Sakura Bunny Maid Cafe yelled out, happy birthday, because my birthday was this weekend. Then the MC guy, what was his name, AJ? He was like, oh, uh, does somebody have a birthday up here? And I was like, yeah, it was my birthday this weekend. He was like, oh, you're like that's good enough, you know, and so then, he got everyone in the audience to sing happy birthday to me. That was really sweet. I didn't know what to do, so I was just standing there, swaying back and forth. <laughs> so no one's ever figured out what you're supposed to do when people sing to you. Yeah, it was fun. And then we went and took some pictures outside by the fountain in the really pretty area. So I had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And now we are here. None of us have eaten today. No, I want food. <laughs> yeah, we're like hungry and a little tired, and we have to pack up our mess of a hotel room. It is disgusting and it's freaking me out so i cleaned out most of the trash except from yesterday so. yeah no i mean like you did a really good job cleaning good. up but then literally we came back in and we just like hurricane the whole place so <laughs> yeah. sorry about that <laughs> but now we have to fix it get something to eat because i'm fucking hungry look at this what is this Ugh. there's just stuff everywhere Carla's there too. <laughs> and Margaret is just judging us in the corner. She, her eyes are closed, she can't even look at us. <laughs> I just typed in noodles. Thai kitchen, Pei Wei, the pasta house, which pasta looks house. Italian. Cannellini, that's like the pasta stuff with meat and stuff. Oof, oof. Chicken fettuccine, oof, oof. that shrimp fettuccine is $22 for shrimp. I'd pay for it. I shall turn you off now after you admire my makeup that I put on my face. Uh, dinner on. Later, losers. <laughs> what? Do you see this? We literally, I just opened this just now. We bought this yesterday. If you don't eat it the day of, this is what happens. We should have ate it there. It was like this, it was the whole size of the package. And now it's just a little whatever. I don't even know what to expect. But I'm still gonna eat it because we paid for it. I don't think it's what is it. this? What is this, Dara? Mm, let me try. Ah. It's crunchy. It's a little cheesy. It, it doesn't good. smell like anything. This one is strawberry. What the fuck? I recommend eating it the day you buy it because now it's like laffy taffy. That could be pretty enough. We just went to Starbucks. I took selfies in the hallway and I ran into the MC, AJ. 
and he took a selfie with me. And then we went to Starbucks. And then it rained. It was pouring rain, so we sat there for a bit. And the bar, the bartender, the barista recognized Dara. Yeah. And him and the other guy. Didn't recognize me, recognized me as Imogen. Yeah, critical role costume, he said. But we walked by here, we ordered Italian food. Guess what, they didn't give us silverware. What is it with St. Louis? If you live in St. Louis, can you please tell us why does no place have silverware? Are we, even when we specifically request silverware, no silverware to be I'm gonna found. I'm going to start begging for silverware, and every time I go to Starbucks, I'm stealing silverware. Exactly. Focus. There we go. Oh, that looks good. What is it? Tortellini? Uh, yes. Good with choice. apparently prosciutto mm. and peas. I'll help you with the peas. They might be okay. I'm hungry enough. Oh, that looks good. Honestly, I could maybe even use spoons. Mm. That sort of thing. Baguette? And no cheese oh, on the <laughs> It looks mm. naked. <laughs> Mine looks like a burrito. They're stuffed noodles. Nice. Nice. I'm proud of it. Let's see what the universe is being named like. I don't have a set like this. It's pretty. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's like copper colored. Cleric. Mm. Chaotic neutral. <laughs> Chaotic neutral cleric. Maybe that will be my next character. <laughs> That's a fun little idea for a blind yeah. box. Yeah. They're only $10. You don't have to sit and agonize over which dice set to buy. Mm -hmm. Like in cute little takeout containers. I cleaned up and then I went outside to stand outside but it, there were bugs and there's no chairs so I went back inside. Let me look up. I'll look up what time the pool closes. Mm -hmm. You see the hat there about me? Pretty cool hat. I'm making tea. Come on. Come on. 